Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use big blue button for conducting online meetings. So take uh, the browser, type uh, bigbluebutton.org. And that will take us to the big blue button web conference page and we can just click on the try now button here just click on that it will take us to the uh, conferencing page there are two options here so if we already have a, a big blue button account we can sign in here uh, so if we are using it for the first time we just click sign up so once we sign up with an account we can just uh, sign in with the account that we have created so the username type the username and password sign in and uh, that will take us to the our home room we can invite participants uh, by using a link that uh, automatically appears on so this will be a link uh, that is unique to our meeting we can copy the link we can just uh, select and uh, copy or you can just click here it will, the link will get copied you can send this by uh, email sms whatsapp etc to uh, whoever wishes to attend the meeting a maximum of uh, 100 participants can attend the meeting and the meeting uh, a session is limited uh, to one hour so once we uh, finish the one hour limit we can again start the meeting we can restart the meeting with using the same link uh, the participants can join the same meeting so uh, we just click on this uh, start button to start the meeting and uh, the meeting will get started it will use the uh, camera in our webcam to uh, capture the video and uh, the voice can be captured using the default mic microphone or we can add another microphone so here uh, uh, an option is asked how would you like to join the uh, audio click on microphone and it will uh, take access to our microphone and uh, there will be a brief echo test to test whether the sound is heard properly properly so you just say, hello, just say hello and you can see and the you can see the hello okay. so okay. you can hear can the hear hello, hello so just click yes you are currently the only person and, uh, in this conference. Now uh, you can see that I am the only participant here in this meeting. So uh, we can, uh, uh, like, uh, like in all other meeting applications, we can chat with uh, the participants and just say hello everyone. And that will appear in the chat box. And uh, this is a presentation screen. It is also can be also be used as a whiteboard. So you just uh, click on this arrow here in the next slide. So that will be the whiteboard for us. So we can uh, uh, draw here. Uh, we can we can change the color. We want uh, different colors. You can so if you don't want to write you can also you even type you can uh, just type on the screen and it is also possible to draw pictures by uh, using these tools you can uh, draw a circle here we can draw a triangle, we can draw a square, a rectangle, uh, etc. We can draw lines. And uh, we can also uh, make this uh, whiteboard usable by other users by clicking this uh, uh, icon if we click this uh, all the other participants can also use the whiteboard they can also uh, use the whiteboard they can also draw and show it to others now if we want uh, to see ourselves on the screen we can just click on the share webcam button here and we will find that our uh, webcam is detected you can st do start sharing 
and then our uh, our video will appear on top of the uh, the presentation if we uh, minimize this presentation our uh, video will appear as a covering the entire screen of the blue button so if you if you want to restore the presentation we can click on this button here if you click uh, this uh, here it will restore the presentation uh, it is also possible to uh, open a presentation and show it uh, to the viewers you can just uh, click here share your screen and uh, uh, we can uh, can uh, show any application window so they will be able to see this uh, application window and uh, they can uh, see the slides that we share on that window this is also a, a possibility so if you want to stop sharing you can just click stop sharing and uh, they will just uh, see our picture on top so uh, these are the options if we click the plus button here we can upload the presentation it is taking some time uh, for uploading the files so just click the file that we want to upload and uh, that will get uploaded let us see it is just uh, suppose uh, uh, a logo suppose it is just a logo we can show that logo uh, there it will be seen as the uh, screen instead of the whiteboard we will see the uh, logo on the screen So now the uh, logo has been uploaded and uh, you can see the logo here. So uh, in the same way it is also possible to uh, upload a presentation, you can uh, uh, let us once more try to upload the presentation, the powerpoint slide that we uh, saw earlier that could be uh, uploaded. Just click on upload and uh, it will get uploaded and it will uh, it will be seen along with our image uh, our video we can the presentation will also uh, be seen on the big blue button screen so we can uh, uh, we can talk the viewers can see us the participants in the meeting can see us we can also move the slides on the screen here by using these arrow buttons we can go to the previous slide we can show the next slide and uh, we can talk by looking at the slides the participants can also interact uh, so this is uh, uh, and if you don't want uh, the slides to be seen you can just minimize this button and we, our we, our video will just be shared with the participants and uh, we can share some notes if you want to share some notes here in addition to public chat you can also have some notes that can be shared with the participants so these are uh, the options that we have with us. We can also conduct a quick poll uh, with the participants and, uh, and the responses can be seen here because there are no other participants, there are no responses. If you conduct the poll, uh, uh, the participants will respond and you can publish the uh, re results on the screen itself the, or the publish uh, the poll results will be published immediately on the screen. We can select what kind of poll that we want to do. Here uh, you can see, well, you, can, uh, you can select whether you want an yes or no poll, true or false poll or ABCD options. Any, any kind of poll can be created or you can even create a custom poll where you can give uh, some options like I want to join or I can't come. Uh, I, I am not interested so uh, these options can be added and uh, so the participants will uh, click on these options and uh, they are, when, all, when they are all done we can publish the results 
on the screen you can power or you can just watch the results you don't have to show the results to the other participants so these are the other options that we have on the screen if, if there are participants we can uh, um, we can make them also presenters uh, we, uh, by clicking on the gear icon near the users list if you, this is the gear icon if you click here there will be options whether we want to mute all users we all we can mute all users by accept presenter we can make other participants as presenters we can upgrade participants as moderators so then we can also see their video screen so all these options are available so this is a very useful app this uh, also requires very less uh, bandwidth and therefore uh, it is uh, useful in all situations we can uh, so there are some other options in uh, uh, we can have keyboard shortcuts uh, which we can select uh, for using this app and when we have uh, we, we don't want to share our webcam we can click on this and our webcam will stop sharing if you want to uh, restore the presentation that we were doing we can just click on this button on right hand bottom just click that and our presentation will get restored so now I have stopped sharing my webcam now the presentation is fully screen uh, seen on the top so once we have done with the uh, meeting we can just uh, uh, end the meeting for ending the meeting the uh, there are three dots on top we just uh, need to click on the this three dots options and click end meeting and the session ends for everybody so uh, this is uh, how we can use the big blue button after the session ends we can give a feedback if we uh, uh, found the session to be useful so thank you everybody for listening.